The headline surrounding this upcoming draft presented as if there's only two defensive stars this year. However, Clemson edge rusher Miles Murphy has plenty of hype, love, and attention, with some even claiming he's on par with the best that this year has to offer. We'll try to determine if that's the case in this two-minute drill. The top trait I love about Murphy is his overall hand strength and fighting ability. The overall technique and adding more moves to his toolbox should come in time, but in terms of swiping and breaking engagement from blocks, Murphy does it with ease and should be able to continue that success into the NFL. Couple that with his pure strength and size at 6'5", 275 pounds, and Murphy has a ton of power and momentum coming off the edge that makes him a tough task for any offensive lineman to handle. Murphy has enough base strength and lower body leg drive that even in moments he gets somewhat contained as a rusher, he still makes an impact penetrating the pocket and using his sheer length to potentially make an impact on a play. But even with all that size, Murphy is still quite the athlete, with a nice get-off, quality bend, and the lateral mobility to work efficiently at the next level, and all of these things should make him make a clean jump to the league and help his growth into potentially becoming a high-impact player. As a run defender, Murphy has the explosiveness and range to cover numerous lanes and even has an athletic profile to work a bit in the open field. A lot of his alignment had him as a down defensive end, but you can see like plays here against North Carolina where he operates as a stand-up rusher and is still able to break into the backfield and make a tackle on the play for a loss. However, the highs of his run defense are met with some lows as there are still much needed improvements from him in terms of gap discipline and setting the edge consistently. Too often, Murphy will crash on the ball, and when he doesn't close out the play, it is costly to the defense, like this option play against Florida State, where he can't close out, allowing for Jordan Travis to keep the football, and he takes it all the way to the house for a touchdown. As far as NFL comparisons go, I think Murphy is very similar to Everson Griffin, who is best known for his time with the Minnesota Vikings. Griffin wasn't necessarily the flashiest of defensive ends, but he was a steady contributor with a tremendous frame who at his peak was turning in double-digit sack seasons while being a key piece to a great Vikings defense. While Murphy still needs some time and polish, I think he could certainly hit a similar level of production and dependable play. Overall, I do think Miles Murphy takes a backseat to Anderson and Carter in terms of ceiling, but I still do feel confident that he'll be a high-level contributor in the NFL, and I expect that he'll be a top-10 selection come draft day. It's a pass-heavy league, and you have to combat it by getting pass rushers, and whoever gets Murphy will definitely be taking a step in the right direction in doing so. And that's the two-minute drill.